I'm working on the truck again. Can't really see much uh, progress right now, but I'm working on the uh, transmission, taking it off. I got the bolts of the U joint off, and I got no transmission is off and loose. Um, I just can't slide just the transmission back far enough for it to clear the uh, drive shaft, which means I got to uh, either take off the rear axle and slide the whole rear axle and drive shaft off, or um, take off the engine. But so tomorrow I'm gonna uh, gonna uh, slide the rear axle back. Probably shouldn't be too hard. It's not going to be. It's only uh, four bolts, two from here, two from here, and then four bolts over there, and then it's just going to be these two here for the suspension. This connects the suspension here. And then the same thing over there, the two bolts to connect suspension, and then I just got to push the whole drive shaft back a little bit, but it doesn't really matter because I was going to take off the uh, rear axle anyway and get that started and then I was going to sandblast the leaf springs and whatnot so either way I wasn't too worried about it so I was going to get it off either way but that's our man the uh transmission uh blew it brown I don't know what they used to use back then it I don't know it had water in there that's for sure I don't know what's damaged in there or what's not damaged I haven't done anything to it. But, um, one thing I had a problem with the transmission is I took off, you can see it, these top two bolts, took off the uh, drive shaft, or no, the uh, U-joints. Um, and then it would have moved and I was like, what the heck? But there's a plate on the bottom right here at the flywheel, you can see it, I think. Yeah, you can see it. I'll show you from... So it's right here, straight down, there's a cover that comes here, and then there's two bolts. Yeah, you definitely can't see that, but oh, maybe. There's two bolts underneath that, straight back in here. Just two bolts on the bottom. So, for any of you guys out there watching it to uh, drop it, I don't know any other easier way than moving back to your axle or taking off the engine. I mean, if you're planning on taking off the engine, then that's your best shot, which I'm gonna plan on doing, but I was thinking I'm going to um, leave the engine on though, I'll take the transmission off, leave the engine on, I'll maybe play around with the engine this winter, but I'll probably end up removing it still. Um, I'll probably get the head reworked at and I'll paint it up and clean it, and then the uh, I'll probably get the transmission reworked, and then I'll probably get the rear axle reworked. That's small shit. And then uh, should be pretty good there. But actually, I'm starting to get real motivated on this thing, so I want to get working on her and getting excited. Um, uh, so I was planning on. Well, I don't know what I said in my last video, but now my plans changed and I'm going to take the whole frame into the garage, clean out the garage, and uh, do the, all the brakes and paint up the frame, the rear axle, drive shaft, all that stuff. I'll send in the rear axle probably. I don't know. Depending on what it's going to cost me. Otherwise, I'll try and do what I can myself and paint it up maybe. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with that. Um, transmission... I've seen them for like 600 bucks rebuilt online and you send the years in. Or no, I got it in a magazine, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know what it costs to get it rebuilt by someone nowadays, so I'm going to have to check into that, what's cheaper. Um, yeah, I don't know, a lot of work though. But it's starting to become more of an enjoyment for me because I'm getting more motivated and getting more progress done. So tomorrow I'll take this rear axle and slide it back. Probably, I was surprised I got that transmission loose pretty quick. I think I only spent like 
probably an hour total. I took off the master cylinder, the brake, uh, this bolt on the side of the transmission, the brake, the manual brake lever. Took off the U-joints there and everything went really smooth. <laughs> no problems with it. So that was good. But I just don't know what to do with this engine at this point. I'm thinking I'm just going to, because I did have the pan off it. I might drop the pan again, clean it up, get that gasket sealer out of there. I used a gasket sealer because I had it upside down. Or I had it like this and it was a pain in the ass to get the gaskets on. So maybe I'll buy just a whole new pan gasket again. Start from scratch there, but I don't know. Then, then it's kind of like if I redo everything else, I might as well redo the engine. So I guess we'll see what I get time and money for at that point. But, yeah, slowly making progress. Hoping to get that done tomorrow. So, uh, stay tuned.